Hi, hello, how are you all this fine day? I hope that if you're here, you subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and check the links down below. You could subscribe to a weekly newsletter that lets you know everything that's going on, all the fun stuff. So, highly recommend that if you're not already. And today is my follow-up to last week's video little tidbit and I will link that in whatever places that I do and last week I discussed five things that I found were the worst about being autistic and this week we're doing the complete opposite and I want to talk about the five best things, in my opinion, about being autistic, which I feel like we need to just talk about more to have more positivity around, hey, it's not a bad thing to be autistic or neurodiverse in any sort of way. So let's just jump right into it with number one. And that is my sense of empathy, which, fun fact, autistic people don't lack empathy. Perhaps some people struggle with it more. I find it that I have so much empathy that it can be almost really difficult to distinguish my own feelings from someone else's because I'm just feeling what they're feeling so much and I see my empathy as one of my biggest strengths and I have definitely found myself being more aware and just more equipped with how I experience empathy and without my own empathy and how prominent it is in my life, I would not be pursuing what I am, which is spiritual, ministry, all that stuff. Just general, honestly, activism because when you feel so much, you want to do so much and I enjoy being very present with everything and to be able to sit with so many different feelings so that is number one number two is that I am very honest and I'm very direct, apparently even so when I'm not trying to be, even when I feel like I'm holding back, I'm still more direct than most people are. I don't like beating around the bush. I am very much uh, not into conflict. I avoid it like the plague, but at the same time, I don't like following all of these different norms that try and just sugarcoat everything and avoid actually addressing what needs to be said. And I appreciate that I'm someone that really has no qualms with saying what might be really uncomfortable and what might make me vulnerable to others. And I think that coincides with empathy and just going at life and feelings full force and not diminishing that to what you should be saying or what you should be feeling and it's so important that we say what needs to be said 
there are of course times where things are delicate and that can be so skewed in different ways because we're people with different perspectives, but I appreciate that I can be of help or service in that way of just saying what exactly I see and what I feel because chances are I'm not alone and we might all be thinking it but someone just needs to say it and I'm not afraid to just say it. Number three is the whole concept of special interests. To put it as simply as possible, take something that you are some, so passionate about, your greatest skills maybe, your greatest just general hobbies, things you enjoy, take that and take it times 10 and then take it maybe times five and add like an exponent of 12 and that's a special interest <laughs> it's something that oh it just fills you up so much it's something that you love beyond words and you could just devote all this extra focus and time towards it and I am very very passionate about what I love and I enjoy that I enjoy that I while I I'm not great at making decisions I'm very opinionated in what I like and what I don't like and I have very clear feelings about what each what what something might fall in either category or I don't have an opinion I don't have just lukewarm mediocre interests it's either go big or go home and again that goes along with what I feel about activism and climate change and being plant-based and spirituality and so many different things, wellness, emotional well-being, all of that stuff that, oh, I have spent so much time researching and talking about and writing about and oh it just fills me up so much and I love that I can have these different outlets and these things that I just am so fully devoted to and that is really cool, I think, that I can feel so strongly about these things that in a lot of cases are quite important. And even if they're not important, there's a lot of things that I'm passionate about for no clear reason at all, but I don't know, it's just, I think it's just fun. Number four is that while I have a lot of difficulties socializing and figuring out all the social things and I often struggle with maintaining healthy, consistent relationships, communication, all that stuff, I love that I can be so content on my own and I don't think a lot of people can say that if they're left alone for more than I don't know 
a day, a week, whatever the heck, that they're antsy. They don't know what to do with themselves. They need people. They need some outer stimulus or resource to feel content. And while, I mean, I've struggled a lot with um, just figuring out my own desires with how those conflict with our societal expectations, I have come to a really good place within myself that if I'm on my own, I'm so okay with that. And a worst case scenario, like, I can just do me and I like that I don't have to be so dependent upon others presence to feel content not to say that I don't need help and that I don't absolutely love and appreciate the people in my life it's just that all of my happiness does not depend upon what they are doing and how often I'm in touch with them. I can just hang out and do things on my own and not even have to communicate honestly <laughs> with people for probably a really long time and I'd still be really okay. And while of course, um, that depends on just how you function in your life. Uh, f for me, I'm so grateful for what I can do and the privilege that I have. And it, my own mind can just amuse itself in all, all of the ways. And my final point, point five, is that I really like that, for lack of better terms probably, I like that I'm different. And I mean that in, I like that I can offer a different perspective and I can view things differently than others so that it can provide greater insight. It can help people see the world differently. And that is a, I think that is a superpower as some people put it. And there are so many different gifts and there are so many there are so many ways to approach one single concept or problem that if you don't have someone that is neurodiverse or just has a different way of thinking about things, then you're missing out on potentially the next big solution or a really creative way to do something new and think of how stagnant things might be if we all were neurotypical and we all had the same way of thinking and we all kind of resonated with the same ideas in a similar way. What kind of change would that make? Probably not much. And to be able to be someone that can potentially make a lot of change or at least help people gain a wider perspective and view things with fresh eyes and really who knows what that could bring someone given that you know you're given the chance to do so and people actually take you seriously. But if we all 
saw autism and neurodiversity as the superpower that it can be, then it's really, really wild, I think, what could come from that. And all we can do is keep, keep empowering ourselves and sharing our our stories and our experiences, our thoughts with the world, and I, I hope that I can see the day that it gets there. And I am so grateful to be someone that is doing this hard work, and I can only hope that being who I am can make someone else's life easier and they can find the acceptance that they deserve. So on that note, those were my five things that I appreciate most about being autistic and I hope that you enjoyed if I didn't mention something that you think is the best thing or something that you personally love, then leave in a comment down below. Let's start a conversation. And again, thank you so much for being here, taking the time to ramble, not ramble, listen to me ramble. And many blessings to you. Stay safe, stay well, and I will see you all next time.